Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing my Pando's Eyeshadows third update, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have that much like exciting progress, but I have something to roll out. And I said like in my intro, I would just film these updates whenever I have something to roll out because I don't wear makeup every day and I'm not gonna pen any eyeshadows anytime soon. So the way I do this project is by like a 10 use goal. So every shadow I roll in, my goal is to use at least 10 times before I can roll it out and choose a new one. So let's just get into it. This isn't really in order of how I pick them, but um, I'll just go through the shadows that are already in this project. So the first one comes from my Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials collab and it's the most difficult shade to get use out of, at least for me. It's the blue shade. So it's the shade Amsterdam. So this is, if you're not familiar, a pressed pigment palette. So first of all, the formula, especially in a shade like this, is not super easy to use. That's how it looks. It's a really nice shade. It's just hard for me to get use out of, and it doesn't blend very easily. Like, it's not a shade you can just, like, slap on and expect it to look good. It's a pressed pigment, so you're meant to, like, really pack it on to get the full color. Um, but for me, this kind of shade is first of all not something I wear every day. So when I do use it, I want to work it in to make it like a wearable look and it's not super easy. So I only used this three times, so it's staying in. I was wearing it in one of my last videos and I mentioned it. So if you want to see how I kind of made it work, although still wasn't that easy to use. <laughs> you can check out that video. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but I'll put it in the description box. Um, but I am excited to keep using this palette like in general and do other looks with it because I really like this palette. Um, I like the other shades, just that one is very difficult for me to get use out of. The other one that's also difficult because I realize I don't really like the formula is from my Makeup Forever 9 Artist Shadow Palette, whatever it's called, the Volume 3. And I'm working on this shade here, um, D236, that's the name of it. These shadows are just really not easy to blend also because they're very like stiff and like thick I don't know how to describe it really and I thought I might reach for this a lot because it was really nice for spring but I just haven't and I think after I use this so I've used that shade four times I still have six times to go and I definitely want to use other shades in this palette but I don't I think if I don't love them this might be a palette I declutter when I reach my goal on that shade because I don't know I mean this is a nice shade it's just the formula is super dry like even like when I do this it looks really pretty but when I swipe it on my hand it just feels dry and I don't know I tried to use it as a inner corner um, one day and it just didn't like stick down either. So it's not my favorite. And this palette honestly might be expired because it's super old. So there's that also. But I'm gonna try and use that six more times. Um, then from my Violet Boss Essentials palette, I rolled in the shade Dusty Rose, which is a very easy shade to use compared to the other two. Cause I can use this as a transition shade to blend out other shades. I've also used this palette as a look on its own. I used these four shades and it was really nice. I have to use this shade three more times because I use it seven times already and I'm not mad about it because it's really easy to use. 
I just feel like it's not as pigmented on my skin tone as it looks in the pen. Um, at least like after you've blended it, it, it's funnily enough actually a very dusty formula. <laughs> the shade's Dusty Rose and it is dusty. But um, yeah, in a swatch it looks more pigmented than it is when it's blended out on my eye, I feel. But I use it often as like an outer corner shade to like deepen up a very light look. So yeah, it works for that. But anyway, three more uses to go. This will probably, probably be, yeah, definitely it will be the next shade rolled out in this project. And then the shade that I'm rolling out is from my BoxyCharm Loves Pure. Um, if that's how you say it, this collab palette they did, and it's the shade Bell. This shade actually, you can see that I have gotten a lot of use out of it because this formula is very like there's a lot of kick up in the pan, so there actually is a dip in this shade. And I feel like if I kept in, if I kept this in, I don't know, maybe I'd hit pan on it. But it's also like kind of a boring shade. <laughs> um, let me swatch it. It's like the Dusty Rose shade, but lighter. So these two shades work really well together. But yeah, that was that's the shade I'm rolling out because I used it 10 times. And the newest shade, um, the shade that I rolled in last update, was from my ABH Sultry palette and it's the shade Dystopian. This very deep brown shade. So when I rolled that in I was like oh great that will be super easy to use as like an outer corner to like deepen up looks. Um, <laughs> so this shade is actually super pigmented. It's uh, very dry also. Okay, my swatches went off, but like it's very dark compared to like everything else in this project and it, actually because it's so pigmented it's not very easy to use um, how I thought I might which is on the outer V. Um, it's hard to blend out and make look more subtle so actually what I've been doing with that shade I used it four times so far. I used the brush that came in this palette and I used this side and I kind of just use it on my lash line as kind of like a shadow liner but very subtle because I don't want it to be like that dark because I don't usually, I don't know, I don't wear super dark looks um, day to day so that's how I've been using that one and that's fine. I'll use it six more times. Um, but yeah, it's just not as easy to blend as I thought it would be. <laughs> and I don't know how to show you. So this is the color story that I've been working with. Um, yeah, so we're going to roll out this shade Bell from the BoxyCharm palette. And we'll see what we replace it with. Hopefully, it's not another blue. <laughs> okay, so this is the fun part. And um, if you haven't seen my other videos, I don't have all my shadows like in a spreadsheet. So the way I do it is I roll for a random palette and then I choose a number and that's the shade that I'm gonna work on. So I'm gonna get my phone here and go into my Tiny Decisions app, which is the app I use all the time for makeup things. And we're gonna roll for an eyeshadow palette or an eyeshadow single. And that's how my wheel is looking, so let's go. Barbarella? What is that? I think that's a palette I haven't used yet and it's still in my new makeup drawer. And that would be exciting because I really need to 
try it. It's um, something I got in BoxyCharm. So let me get out the palette and then we'll roll the number. And I think there's a lot of shades in that palette. So this could be, this could be good or bad. Let's see. Okay, I'm excited because it is the palette that I thought it was. This huge palette from B Beauty London. It's the Barbarella palette. Jet milled color delivers intense saturated color. Light reflective sheens with velvety finish, gorgeous golds, pretty pearls, and frosted greens. Okay, so I've never used this. Um, it's been in my new makeup drawer forever. It still has like this plastic <laughs> thing on it. And there are 20 shades in this palette. I really hope I don't get that blue. So let's roll a number from 1 to 20. So to roll the number, I have the app pretty random. So you just enter the minimum number, which is 1, and the maximum 20. And then you, I think you shake it, right? Yeah. 13. Okay, good. It's not the blue. <laughs> So I'm going like this, so this is 10, 11, 12, 13, ooh, that's going to be so easy to use. So this is the shade Kofi, I think how you pronounce it, K-O-F-I, let's swatch it, ooh, it feels really smooth, oh my god, it's very flaky, that's how it looks. Oh my gosh. Okay, very chunky and flaky. And swatches weird, but okay. I'm very happy with that shade at least. I don't know how, whoa, this is like a shade. It's almost like a highlighter. Like you have to really buff it in because it's very flaky. Oh, and it kind of has, yep. It has a pink shift. Okay, that's going to be really easy to use in looks. Because I use shades like this for my inner corner, for my brow bone, on my lid. Okay, I'm very happy with that. Because now that we got rid of this pink shade under this one here, um, I feel like that can work. So I'm going to swatch out our new, well, my new <laughs> color story, and I'll show you how that looks. Okay, so here is the new color story, and please ignore my horrible swatching skills, but look at that new shade. Wow, it's like very reflective and pretty. Um, I was looking at this palette. I don't know anything about this brand. This is what it is. Be Beauty London. Have you guys heard of this before? I feel like it, I don't know, it only exists in like BoxyCharm world maybe. But I was looking at the back and apparently there's three formulas of shadow. There's glitter, shimmer, and matte. And I think this is supposed to be one of the glitter shades because I I think, yeah. So I think like the chunky shades, this is the one we rolled in, Kofi, but I guess you can't really see on camera, but there's some that are like, like they look super flaky and chunky, and I think those are the glitter formula. But as you can see, it's a very smooth glitter, and like it, when you buff it in, it becomes like almost like a cream like not that it feels like a cream but it looks like one I don't know I'm very excited to use that and see how it translates to my eyes but yeah that is my Pando's eyeshadows updates I feel like this is kind of cohesive like I could probably do a look with all of these shades and it would look okay like it wouldn't look crazy so I think I'll probably try that 
and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this will be the next shade rolled out for sure because I only have three more uses. But the rest, yeah, they're going to be here for a while longer. So there it is. So I hope you like this video. Let me know if you're doing this project below and give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!